Alright, pal. Wait, did he just kick Springtrap in the face? A Fazbear's Fright employee finds themselves stuck with the Night Watch, at least until they can find someone to fill the position in a more permanent capacity. As they walk through the pizzeria, they reminisce about the franchise, noting how strange it is that they've been compelled to film their shift with an ancient camcorder. Yeah, I, I really don't know why they gave me this whole piece of garbage. I could have just used my phone. That would have been a lot better, and also it's just higher quality, but no, they gave me this stupid camcorder. Furthermore, he also complains about the room's poor ventilation. God, it stinks in here, man. It's so mildewy. It's really... Hot, so I hope my office is a fan or something, but... He goes to check the cameras, only to find that he doesn't know how. Okay, so I have, um, I have no clue where the monitor is or the, uh, or the, some sort of iPad. I, I saw some cameras walking on the way to the office, but I don't know how to see through them, and I definitely am gonna, not gonna walk out of my office every single goddamn time to just look out into the hallway. <laughs> yeah, no, f*** that, I just... I, I just need, I can't find uh, some sort of viewing device, which is kind of annoying. So, uh, oh, the drawer, obviously. So. After locating a tablet in the drawer, the man notices something unusual wandering the pizzeria. So, wait, what the hell is that? Is that in the, it's in the arcade hallway? What the f that? What the hell? It's a, is that a prop or is it, you're f tricking me? What the f God, you creepy ass motherfucker. Hey, hey! Hey, what are you doing? It, we, we don't start until a week, man. You're early. My, my supervisor told me a week. Can you stop, man? You f weirdo. Just quit. All right? What the hell? Nice costume though, Jesus Christ. Can you just stop right- Bro, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to stand back. I see you. Listen bro, I don't know what you want. Just, uh, uh, just a step back, uh, don't uh, touch me. Panicking, or well, sort of panicking, the man tries to flee, but Springtrap stalks him throughout the building. Unfortunately, this guy really is just a random haunted house employee, and he has no idea what Springtrap is. In his horror and confusion, he does something rarely seen in a FNAF VHS. He decides to throw down. Why? Why are you doing this? Oh shit. Oh shit. Fleeing the pizzeria, he runs to his car, driving away to safety. I quit, bro. Nice job. The Theft King channel is all about adorable puppies and kittens. If you don't subscribe to Theft King, you hate adorable puppies and kittens. You don't hate adorable puppies and kittens, do you?
Trespasser Hunter Cho enters the junior's location, filming on their cell phone. Hidden away in a back room, they find Chica standing idly behind a table. Excited, they deploy the rest of their tools. It seems that there's some sort of supernatural investigator looking into the disappearances surrounding Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Whatever the case, they obviously know that something is amiss with these animatronics. In an homage to Spectre's paranormal investigation, they interview Chica using their equipment, trying to determine what happened to her. Let's give this thing a shot. What are you? Oh, oh shit, hang on. Um... Who, who are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I can't believe that worked. That was so fast. Uh, oh shit. Wow. Um, this is insane. Uh, I had to ask this question. stopped so I'm gonna just go ahead and ask a couple of questions um, how did you die murder murder okay I'll write that down um, and uh, from what I've heard about you uh, or this place is that um, kids were murdered and placed into the suits so that's kind of gross so I can't really look inside, but, um, who killed you? The man in purple. Alright, that's, that's not really a great help. I mean, there's some speculation, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, he will die. What? He must die. I, that happened, like, back in, that happened a long time ago. I, I feel like he would be, already be dead by now. I mean, I, uh, okay, let me just, um, how old are you? Eight. Well, that can't be right. You have to be, okay, if you're eight, you're going to be like over in your 20s. What the hell? Just, son of a bitch. Just jam my finger. Oh man, it's already turning purple. Purple? What? No, no, that's, that's not what I meant. Oh, I had to say it to one fucking word, now it's freaking me out. What the hell is happening? I gotta get my phone, I gotta get my phone in, but I gotta get the hell out of here. Just... Lovely. Okay, alright. Hey! Hey! Open this door. What the hell? Open this door! Jesus Christ. What the fuck? What the fuck? Open the door. Open this door right now. Hey! Open this door! Oh my god. Oh my god. You have to open this door. Ian, this isn't funny. Open this door, man. Open this door. Ian! Ian! No, no, no! All of this commotion causes a disturbance in the area, and police are called. However, when the officers arrive on the scene, Hunter, or what's left of Hunter, stumbles out of the pizzeria. I got a young man at week 1672 to wish you might approaching. He's in really bad shape. Um, he is pretty disfigured. Uh, looks like he got attacked by a, uh, I don't know, some uh, wild animal or something. Giraffe Lord began posting animations just a year ago, producing a series of Backrooms videos as well as some Mandela Catalog fan tapes.
However, only two months ago they began their FNAF VHS series, and in the short time since, they've produced a bunch of really impressive tapes. Speaking of... 1988. Afton Robotics technician Aiden Giles goes to inspect a newly acquired animatronic, Junior's Freddy. Um, hello, my name is Aiden Giles. I'm a head technician here at Afton Robotics, and um, I'm here to check out to do this uh, monthly routine check on this animatronic right here. So if I just press that, it should activate. Uh, hello? <laughs> what the f is. Let me see what's hey, going there, kids. Christ. Welcome to Hello, Jesus. Pizza. Okay, yeah, I can tell it's definitely broken. There's a dysfunctioning motor, and maybe the voice box is off. I gotta open that shit up. Aiden does a thorough inspection of Freddy before reassembling him, but when he goes to put the faceplate on, he's unable to locate it. Okay, I put the rest of the robot back together, except for the mask. I, I can't seem to find it. I don't know how I could have misplaced it, but like this, and nightmare fuel, man, I just... Terrifying, normal to see that. So, um, I, I just don't know where I put the mask, and it's really bugging me now because it's gonna be stuck with me for the rest of my night. Um, just I just can't. F what the f the f um what the f what the f Oh, he survived. Nice. It's security guard Jeremy Fitzgerald's second night at Freddy Jr.'s, the infamous pizzeria of FNAF 2. He's not thrilled about it. I, I mean, but like, what for, anyway? There's not like there's anything good for this old ass place. The evening starts off somewhat normally when suddenly Jeremy hears a noise. Uh, hello? Hey, who's there? Uh, you're, you're not in trouble, you're just not supposed to be here. Go ahead and come out. This must have been my grave, I swear to Christ. Okay, let's see. Huh. Parts of the service is open. Hey! Anyone there? He arrives at the source of the sound, only to discover that it's just Freddy sitting there, chilling. What? That's weird. Just him. What, was it you? Hmm? Did, you did you make that noise, Fred? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, down at this old ass establishment. You probably even couldn't do it anyways. No, I guess he just shifted or something like you fell over. Oh, well. God, you're so f***ing creepy looking. I, I <laughs> doubt. Anybody would want to see this when I was a kid? Me especially. Jesus. It's giving me nightmares for days. It's so strange. However, later that evening, when the noise rings out again. Oh my god, again? Hey, what the hell is going on? What is... How did you... Did you... Hey! Whoa, what the... Stay back! Stop! Stay there! Stay there! Stay there! Do not come any closer! I said stay back! Stop! Stop! It's just after 4 a.m., and Five Nights at Freddy's one night guard Mike Schmidt has had enough. The animatronics have been acting quirky at night, and as the hours wear on, they only become more and more aggressive. Panicking, Mike reaches out to his supervisor to find out what the hell is going on. Just a few moments later, though, motion is recorded on the security cameras. It's Bonnie. The... The, the, the bunny animatronic? That bunny robot, the purple one, is... Moving, he's in the west hallway, and I, I don't know what to do. Do I, like, yell at him? Do I ward him off? Do I... The doors. Oh, duh. Yeah, of course. Shot. What the hell? That's funny. Okay, 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 okay. 
Terrified, Mike is driven out of the security office and into the dining room. A rookie mistake. As every Five Nights at Freddy's player knows, you must never flee the office. <coughs> Officially, Mike's cause of death is listed as an electrical accident, but in truth, Bonnie stuffed him into an animatronic suit whilst the endoskeleton was still inside, his screams echoing through the halls of the pizzeria. Giraffe Lord's tapes are pretty unique. They mix together a lot of different cool models, and they're doing a lot of things that other VHS creators aren't, so definitely go subscribe and be on the lookout for more tapes from them. As always, thanks for watching. Nice costume, though. Jesus Christ. <laughs>